Cordial greetings. I request your presence at a gathering on Station Deep Space Nine. We shall discuss the Borg Kingdom problem and potential solutions. We live at a perilous time, friend, but recall our axiom. Through harmony, we are secure. Through unity, we are strong. Together we will strive to defeat our mutual enemy and establish peace for one and all. You have arrived. Good. The summit is about to begin. Tassin Fey, the leader of the Aetherian starship Harmony, will be making a presentation soon, alongside one of Starfleet's finest captains. While you're waiting, I encourage you to meet with the specialists here. They will have useful insights on the upcoming operation. The summit will begin soon. While I remain optimistic, it is not a feeling shared by many of my superiors in the Assembly. Tholians are often slow to place trust in outsiders. While the Aetherians did provide timely aid against the Borg Kingdom, their extra-dimensional origins raised a number of questions within our leadership ranks. We know very little about them. While others may place their trust in them, it will not be easily won with my people. Hello. I do hope you and your crew are prepared for action. I believe the Alliance has rather bold plans for us. I suppose we'll learn of the action plan soon enough. I do hope it's a good one. We've held off. The Aetherians have been in non-stop talks with the Alliance command staff. We've held off the Borg Kingdom before, and we're ready to do it again. Our new allies were eager to join the fight. And I certainly can't argue with the results. The Aetherians have been in non-stop talks with the Alliance command staff since they arrived here. I have a feeling that whatever they've cooked up is going to be big. Maybe on a scale we haven't seen since the Iconian War. Just heard from Ops. The briefing is about to start. Thank you all for coming. The attacks from the Borg Kingdom are a threat to us all. We've been working on a strategy with the Aetherians. Several tactical initiatives are underway as we speak, but there is a new, critical issue to deal with. A reality vortex has appeared in what you call fluidic space. That region has a unique, extra-dimensional nature. It connects to every point in the multiverse. If our enemy controls that vortex, they will be able to attack anywhere, at any time. Unfortunately, fluidic space disrupts Aetherian neural processes. So, the task of closing that vortex falls to us. I'll be leading a strike force to fluidic space to get the job done. Hopefully, we'll achieve our objectives before hostile forces arrive. We will do what we must to succeed. Thank you for your time. May I speak with you for a moment? Sincere greetings. It is an honor to be working with an officer of such high caliber. We are grateful indeed. 
We have learned much throughout our conflict with the Borg Kingdom. We were happy to share our knowledge, and we have provided technology that will improve your effectiveness against them in battle. Quite so. I believe you will find them most effective against our common foe. I believe Captain Dax wanted to speak with you before you depart. Are there any questions I can answer for you at this time? Hello there. Nice to finally meet you. You've got quite the reputation. I'm glad you and your crew are joining us on the mission. We need the best and brightest against the Borg Kingdom. Glad to hear it. Fluidic space can be challenging. And that's before you add the Undine to the equation. They're not terribly fond of anything from our part of space-time. We're hoping to avoid any sort of incident with them, but shutting down that vortex is our top priority. The defense upgrades we receive from the Aetherians are impressive. The enhancements to targeting, weapon modulation, and power systems will really make a big difference. They've also provided extensive tactical data on Borg Kingdom vessels and defense systems. We'll be ready for action should we run into them on the mission. Once we're back on our ships, my crew will use tech on the Aventine to open a quantum singularity. We'll use that to travel to fluidic space. Are you ready to go? The rest of the task force has assembled. Head to the following coordinates, and the Aventine will create the quantum singularity. Task force, this is docking control. Confirm your boards are green for departure. Aventine to docking control. Boards are green. Inoue reporting. Everything is green on our end. Docking control, Riscava reports green for departure. Acknowledge, task force. You are cleared for departure. All We're all set over Make here. way to the designated Ready coordinates. Ready to take a trip to fluidic space? I look forward to learning more about fluidic space. I hope you don't learn about its dangers. Like the Undine. All stations report they're ready for action. Hope your helm's up to the task of piloting in fluidic space. The local currents can get a bit unruly. Unfortunately, local conditions are generating an unusual amount of sensor interference. We're not exactly flying blind, but our scanning quality is quite limited. Neither do I. If the Undine find us, we might not know they're coming until it's too late. And trust me, you do not want to be on the wrong end of an Undine ambush. Let's start with a coordinated long-range scan. See if we can gather more information working together. If that doesn't work, we can use deep space probes. By linking probes as we travel, we can create a sensor network. That should extend our scanning range considerably. Let's meet at the designated location ahead. Long range scan complete. We're not detecting any sign of the vortex. I think it's time we try plan B. Let's send out a deep space probe. We're ready to go over here. Aventine and Riscava report the same. Once all the probes are deployed, we can head to their location and try another long-range scan. This time, boosted by the probe sensors. Probe trajectories. No telling how local currents will affect them. Good idea. A shift in current could divert them into an obstacle. We should head to the designated location. Fascinating. I do hope to return one day to conduct research. 
Good luck with that. The Undine might have other ideas. Look for any EM field spikes or drops. Could be caused by the vortex. Long range scan bio signs? It's Even a pod of crows, Getly! We're not finding anything. Probes on standby. Try these coordinates. We picked up something faint over there for a moment. Might be a sensor glitch. Or it might be what we're looking for. Assume they'll see us before we see them. I think we've got something. Attention, all hands. We're detecting weapon fire ahead. Yes, and that's not all. We're also reading Borg Kingdom weapon signatures. Looks like they picked a fight with the Undine. Are you sure that's wise? We might wind up fighting both the Undine and the Borg. Then again, the Undine may think twice about firing on us if we help them with the Borg. I think it's worth the risk. So much for the peaceful journey through fluidic space. I'm surprised it took this long to run into the Undine. Target Borg vessels only. Do not engage the Undine. Monitor Undine target. Self-destruct. The Undine weapons are fascinating. Fascinating and terrifying. Glad they're not shooting at us this time.
no effect against its shields. I believe I have a solution, but it's a risky one. The Aventine was designed to fight Borg. There are a number of anti-Borg systems on board, including a quantum field focus phaser. Properly recalibrated, we could use it to create a brief transporter window through their shields. Once we've opened the window, we'll beam away teams over to the Unicomplex. They'll find and disable the shielding around the Unicomplex, leaving it vulnerable to attack. A warning. The Unicomplex has considerable defense systems in our fleet protecting it. We will need to eliminate all defenses and enemy vessels before you can safely lower your shields and use transporters. Right. Moving into range now. Clear the local defense nodes and watch out for reinforcements. We're on it. Work fast, Captain. Moving to defend the Aventine. Good luck, Ezri. Hard to believe the Undine can't put a dent in the Unicomplex. If there's one thing the Borg excel at, it's adaptation. Even to a weapon like the Undine Planet Killer. How terrifying. <laughs>
Let's beam away teams to the following coordinates on board the unit complex before the transport window collapses. We made it. Now the real work begins. Two hazard teams, designations Alpha and Beta. Alpha's job is to take down the Unicomplex shield systems, while Beta will shut down the weapons and tactical arrays. If we're lucky, we'll be able to get the job done without firing a shot. I'll provide each team with some Starfleet gear designed to mask our life signs. None of us will show up on Borg sensors. We should be able to reach our destinations before they can detect us and scramble security teams. Once we've finished, we'll evac to our respective ships and regroup with the Undine forces. You know, this could be a golden opportunity to collect intel on these guys. Keep it to surface level intrusion. Too much digging around could draw unwanted attention. Esri, are you certain we'll remain undetected? The gear worked well in simulations. Wait. This is experimental tech? Ah. Let's hope this plan survives contact with the enemy, then. So far, so good. The drones can't detect us. Defend yourself, and be prepared to remodulate weapons. Understood. Beta team, out. Back to Beta team. Weapon control is secure, but the poor captured Tanaka. Hang in there, Commander. We'll rescue him if we can. Fortify your position if possible. Weld the doors shut if you have to. Alpha will reinforce you once we've taken out the shields. Copy that, Captain. Beta team, out. That's the energy beam the Borg are firing into the Vortex. Our initial scans of it weren't conclusive. It appears to be causing a tremendous level of fluctuation within the Vortex core. Good question. I'm willing to bet it's nothing good. Right. There should be a control console somewhere in the chamber ahead. If we can find it, we might be able to learn more about the beam and its purpose. Maybe even shut it down.
console might have data on that beam. Let's check it out. We'll have to deal with those drones first. What were you able to find? Hmm. I was afraid of something like this. It looks like the Borg are trying to modulate Vortex, control it. From what I can tell, they're trying to expand it inside. Considerably. It gets worse. From what I know about Undine technology, if they fire one of those planet killer beams at the Unicomplex while this beam is active, it could cause an explosion that makes a matter-antimatter reaction look tame. We need to shut this thing down before the Undine get trigger happy, or they could destroy most of Fluidic space, and us with it. No, unfortunately. I think I've located the console that will shut it down nearby, though. The door to shield control is just ahead. They're probably on lockdown by now. <sighs> Not wrong. Heaven. I'll override it. That didn't take long. Multiple drones are closing in. Well, at least they're consistent.
doors open. We're in business. Take out that drone. The dendritic one. Time to get to work. While your squad takes down the shields, the rest of us will try to deal with that beam control console nearby. Join us in the control room once you've finished here. We might be getting a lot of company soon. Of the Borg. Captain Dax, weapon control is secure. Well done, Commander. Proceed with me. Shields will be down short. Dax. your designation. Resistance will be terminated. State your designation. Acknowledged. Assimilation complete. Stand by for instructions. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Initiate function at designated alcove. Interface with console to complete interrupted subtask. Retrieve drone data from Regeneration Alcove. Drone 1 of 5, provide task status. Update, Drone 1 of 5, assist with drone assimilation at designated console. Interface with medical monitor.
complete assimilation of throne. Throne one of five. Provide task status. Update. Drone one of five. Escort damaged drone to Alco for regeneration. Interlink with drone. Escort drone to regeneration Alco for integration. Transfer drone data to regeneration Alco. Drone one of five. Provide task status. Update. Drone one of five. Repel borders and weapon control. Okay, that should do it. Try it now. Stop them! Immediately! Wait, did you hear something? Position. Reinforcements are on their way. and restore weapon control systems. Assimilation. Objective update. Recover critical components from neutralized Borg drone. Drone one of five. Provide task status. Update. Drone one of five. Neutralize remaining intruders and restore full weapon control. Assimilation. Beta team to Dax. We're being overrun. Shields are still up. We can't beam you out. Oh no. That's the rest of Alpha team. They've been assimilated. Get out of here. Run. Run! Target threat nullified. Begin assimilation. Complete restoration of weapon control. Interface with designated console. Drone 1 of 5. Provide task status. Update. Drone 1 of 5. Transport to shield control and neutralize all intruders. Dax to beta team, come in. There's no answer. Remember the mission. We need to take those shields out. 
We can help Beta Team once we're done. Let's make haste then. Right. Let's get it done. Look out! Captain Dax, are you okay? Kamarke, look out! Stop! You, you know me! We're allies! Help! Someone help me! One of five. Status report. Pro... Can you hear me? Are you okay? Are you with us? Glad to hear it. Welcome back. Are you ready to go? Now the real work begins. Are you able to proceed with the mission? There's no shame in saying no. If you need to recuperate, I understand. I injected you with nanotech designed to sever the link between the drone and the rest of the board. It's key to your individual biosignature, and only works for a short time after assimilation. Thankfully, we got to you in your team too. Okay, there's still time to rescue Beta Team, but right now, we need to complete our primary mission here. We're locked out of the shield controls now. Do you have any insight from your experience with the Borg that could help us crack the codes? Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you weren't successful. Any idea where we could do that? That's good. Once we rescue Beta Team, we'll send them back here to await transmission of the control codes. That should let us take the shields down before the Borg block access again. Ready weapons! Here they come! The Vinculum is a priority target. We need to hurry, before more Borg arrive. Wait for us to provide the access codes. 
Are you ready to proceed? Check the ceilings for Vincula. Watch out for bomber drones! I have a very bad feeling about this. This looks like a command center. Okay, let's see if we can take their shields down here. You won't be shutting anything down, Captain. This is where your resistance will be annihilated. Be. Not always pleasant to look in the mirror, is it, Harry? Now, the smart move here would be to surrender for assimilation. But I know you, Harry, better than anyone. You're going to play the hero for the last time. Shoot at the king. Don't miss. Looks like his majesty is joining in on the fight. We have the nanite shield. It'll reflect our fire.
dangerous. some powerful friends, Harry. Word to the wise. Watch your allies closely. Their smile might be hiding a knife. encounters with your mirror self can be rough, but I not only met him, I fought him. Yeah, I'll be fine. I am a little worried about Kamarke, though. I know she's been through a lot, but to kill someone in cold blood, even a Borg. Right. We still have a job to do, no matter what. Tell me you have the command codes. 
Beta team reports the codes were effective. The Unicomplex shields are down. We've got a problem out here. Several, actually. We managed to shut down the central beam they were firing into the vortex while you were captured, but now they're firing three beams at it. It looks like they're trying to escalate whatever it was they were doing to the vortex when we arrived. Easier said than done. While most of the Unicomplex is unshielded, the Borg have large capital ships shielding the emitters. We'll have to deal with those ships before we can take out the emitters. The Undine Planet Killer is en route to this location, but it won't be able to fire until the emitters are out of commission. We need to take them down as soon as possible. The Undine are still with us, moving into formation. They're doing their part, Captain. Time to do ours. If we don't take these emitters out, we all lose.
Let's hope they keep their finger off the trigger until the emitters are down. They're aggressive, Captain, not suicidal. Right. Let's hope these Ethereum upgrades keep us in the fight. I'm reading a considerable increase in Borg defenses there. That octahedron won't go down without a fight. It's in our way, Captain. Take it down.
planet killer on long range sensors. It'll be here soon. Right. No pressure. The Lion vessels. The situation grows severe. Destroy the final emitter. We will do the rest. Understood. We're on it. Cal, best speed to Point Delta. No time to lose.
To the Alliance and Undine Vessel, I offer sincere greetings. You have succeeded against staggering odds. Correct. However, the Harmony is safely within the Spatial Anomaly once occupied by the Unit Complex. There is no fluidic material of any kind in here. It is, as you might say, a pocket of normal space. A valid question. We are here to prevent another incursion by the Borg Kingdom. They do not give up easily. We believe that unchecked, the odds of them attempting to recreate a vortex are high. Simply put, we must be vigilant. I trust you have detected the vessel within the new anomaly. This is most irregular. Under normal circumstances, we would order them to depart the sector or face destruction. But as we both know, these are not normal circumstances. As long as that anomaly is in place, these Ethereans are protected from any attack. We will be watching them, however. A generous offer, but we must decline at this time. This will be an internal matter for us. I can't say I'm surprised they turned down your offer. Still, what happened here today may very well be the first step toward better relations with the Undine in the future. I think it's time for us to go home. Wouldn't want to wear out our welcome, after all. Are you ready to depart? I expect there are plenty of people eagerly awaiting our report on DS9. Then let's not keep them waiting. See you there. Before we turn in our reports, let's stop by medical and have those board implants removed. I happen to know one of the doctors there very well. He'll take good care of you. I'll let them know you're coming. Are you ready to go? There you are. Welcome back. The procedure was a complete success. No more Borg implants for you. Is the patient cleared for duty, Doctor? Yes, of course. Then if you're up for it, the command staff wants to debrief us. Be safe out there. Doctor's orders. say, Borg modifications weren't a good look for you. Thankfully, my chief medical officer was available to remove those. Besides being my husband, Julian's one of Starfleet Medical's best. Don't mention it. Between you and me, I'm concerned about Comarque. I was a counselor on DS9 during the Dominion War. I know post-traumatic stress when I see it. She's a fine officer. We'll need people like her out there if the Borg Kingdom comes back for a rematch. That's a worry for another day, though. For now, their invasion is over. Thanks for all you and your crew did to make that happen. I don't know about you, but it's good to be back. I don't plan on visiting Fluidic Space again anytime soon. I'm still processing the fact that we fought alongside the Undine. They aren't exactly known for being team players, at least as far as the Alliance is concerned. Anything's possible, but I wouldn't expect an invitation to any holiday parties from them anytime soon. For now, it's like a wise man once said, 
It's in the purview of the diplomats. Your report on the events in Fluidic Space was quite thorough. The temporary alliance with the Undine was unexpected, as was the arrival of the Ethereans. I will update the leaders of the Assembly. I suspect they will want to monitor the situation in Fluidic Space quite closely. Should another incursion occur, they will want to take action. It seems we have prevented a great calamity today. I think a collective sigh of relief is in order. I'm perfectly fine, thank you. The Lucari are quite resilient people. I will endure. Don't worry. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. Thank you for the kind advice. I have reviewed your after-action report. It was quite the tale of a glorious battle, and a crucial victory. Losing fluidic space to the Borg Kingdom would have been a tactical disaster, an embarrassment for the Empire. Agreed. When it comes to defending their home, they are quite formidable. Because of that, our diplomats wish to form a more permanent alliance with the Undine, if such a thing is possible. continue to grow deeper in the cycles to 